you come up with a new file, an index.html or something, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe you have a new CSS file and you make this file in the folder in an actual folder on your machine. That is a repo. Right. That is where your code is at, a repo, right? Mm -hmm. But when you add a new file, the repository doesn't necessarily recognize or understand or digest that the file needs to be in the repo. <laughs> it's in the same folder, yeah. but it's not registered yet. And yes. so this next command is going to be git add and then the name of your file. So basically that just registers it with git. So you can have uh, registered and unregistered files in your repo. Uh, and, and that's important because just because you have a file in there doesn't necessarily mean you want it to be version. It could be a, an output file from a build. So if you did like a pick your favorite uh, build tool, a Maven or Gradle script, and it's going to create things like .os and .lib files that you may not necessarily want to have that as part of your repository. Uh, so unless you do a git add on that, it's not going to do it. 